comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And I say it's all right. Computers are a good tool for learning words or key vocabulary words that you don't understand. I also like that when I'm at home, I don't have to share the home computer, so I have my own laptop to do my own work. We get, whenever I'm absent from school, I get to go on Edmodo and talk to teachers about the work that I need to make up. I can ask other students what to do, and I can just get my work done technology for kids these days, it's having a cell phone and having instant access to the internet. That's why it's important for nowadays students to have computers and laptops and access to the internet at a full-time basis in all classrooms. I also like using the laptops in our classrooms and you know with our teachers because you can research whatever you're learning and learn more and you don't have to go to the library and you don't have to use really old books. <laughs> These kids, by not providing them with technology, is going to hold them back compared to kids that have that opportunity. That's why it's always important for us to look further out ahead and be progressive in our thoughts on what we want to have achieved. Technology is the future. It's something that, frankly, we can't grow and develop the way we have been without people who are proficient users of technology and, frankly, even developers of technology and folks who are you know, willing to take tools and use them in new ways and innovate, you know, uh, how we approach our daily business. And so, uh, you know, it's one thing to know how to use an iPad or an iPod or something. It's a whole other thing than to suggest new ways that we might want to leverage that technology to make our products more efficiently and get them to customers around the world more effectively. Hi, my name is Dan Sadler. I'm the principal of Carson Middle School. I just wanted to share with you some of the thoughts and observations that I've made as an instructional leader and as a principal as we've rolled out mobile one-to-one -one at Carson Middle School. Uh, probably the most noticeable change that I've seen as an observer is the engagement levels of our students and also the engagement levels of our staff. Um, it's really been noticeable that our teachers have continued to be lifelong learners and model that uh, as they've challenged themselves to learn how to use a new tool and as a result we've seen engagement levels of students really go through the interest level and participation has expanded the educational community uh, beyond the classroom walls and even beyond the classroom hours to where we've really started identifying uh, our educational community as kind of 24-7, seven, seven days a week, something that we can support. And I think that's been something we've really needed as we look at 21st century skills, life skills, and certainly education and trying to match the needs of our students. So it's been a really welcome addition and we're looking forward to progressing further with that. My name is Lupe Ramirez and my daughter is an eighth grader. So one, of, one of the things that I also noticed was that she actually was more motivated at being completing her homework because um, she had that device in there. Um, so I feel that that was very powerful to have that computer to allow her to utilize the resources available to her to complete her classes. Um, she's going to definitely be um, prepared to do well in the future. I um, again see how my daughter benefited from having this computer and I wish to see all the schools in the state um, having that option and being able to uh, provide that resource to the students.